Hey, Brixel! It's happening, it's finally happening. The release of Guild Wars 2 on Steam has been confirmed. The 23rd of August, 2022. That's next week. Thanks for the warning, Anet. So earlier this month, changes were made to the Guild Wars 2 Steam Store API. Amongst less interesting changes, subreddit Sleuths noticed a gem, an update to the release date of the Steam version. Many, myself included, excitedly reported on this date, careful to add a little dose of speculation because no official word from Anet had yet been given. Until today, when Anet made it official by sharing this announcement via their socials. Exciting news, though we did literally have to scrap an entire chunk of this week's episode of Last Week Interior. We just committed to apologizing for getting too wrapped up in the hype of the API League, but literally hours later, the official confirmation came out. Seriously, at this point, everyone was sure it wasn't actually going to be happening on the 23rd. Point being, yeah, I see you random commenter being all snarky about my journalistic prowess. Suck it. Anyway, this is a celebratory video, and we shouldn't dwell on the negatives, like the fact that the game really needed an overhaul to the new player experience before it received a massive influx of new players. And I definitely wouldn't want to get everyone all gloomy by mentioning that one of Guild Wars 2's flagship game modes, World vs. World, is basically floating face down in the water. Yeah, a World vs. World revamp is coming, but that's not gonna be in the game before the new players who want to be giving our best first impression to arrive. So yeah, I won't be mentioning any of that today. This is a fun video. Moving on, the announcement of the Steam release date answered a bunch of lingering questions, so let's go through some of them. First of all, no, we won't be able to link existing accounts to Steam. Yeah, that sucks, but it is what it is. I was really hoping to finally escape the native launcher's frankly terrible download speeds, but that ain't happening for me. Good news though is that the original client will share servers with the Steam client. This means we won't have to worry about not being able to play with friends new to the game. You know, that one friend you kept buying to play the game, but wouldn't listen and is only now trying it out because it's on Steam, despite you incessantly begging them for years, Kevin. <clears throat> Anyway, with the Steam release, Anet will be selling a Guild Wars 2 complete collection that includes all the expansions and Living World episodes for $90. A pretty heavy kick to the bank account, but it's also kind of a ridiculous amount of content you're getting for that price. And unlike most MMOs, almost all of that content is still relevant to Endgame. But if you're a newbie and you want to take my advice, fork out for the complete collection if you know you're gonna love the game. Though there is also the base game, which includes the entirety of the level one to 80 experience and the personal story, as well as season one of the living world, which is entirely free to play on Steam. So feel free to try before you buy. There were a bunch of smaller bits of information that were dropped. So be sure to check out last week interior later this week, where I'll be going through all of it in a lot more detail. So that's it. I just wanted to get the news out to you guys ASAP. And if you like this breaking news format, subscribe for more. Please share our channel with your friends. With the new influx of players, they're going to want to stay informed with what's happening in the game. And we'll still be here every dang week to just that. A big shout out to our patrons who keep this channel running and a special shout out to our guardian tier patrons, Anthony Hodgson, Liam Pullis, Phil DeVette, and Brain Not Bright. Thank you so much for watching. Brixel loves you very much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.